teacher's teacher, a leader's leader. Until reincarnation comes along, I don't think we'll see another one anytime soon. He was really a, a professional giant on this earth and somebody that you, you couldn't replace. Sam Stegman was a brilliant man. He was pensive, he was inquisitive, he was friendly. This was a man that we would follow anywhere. We would go anywhere to listen to him, to discuss things with him, because he was really the intellect of, of dermatologic surgery. He just had a tremendous ability to help people and guide them, train them, without you even knowing he was doing it. Even today, more than 16 years after his passing, Dr. Samuel Stegman continues to inspire dermatologists the world over. His legacy of leadership, teaching, research, and friendship endures. The Samuel Stegman Distinguished Service Award was established in 1996 in memory of his pioneering contributions to dermatologic surgery. The award is recognized as one of the most prestigious honors bestowed upon a member of the ASDS. So what are the origins of greatness? In the case of Sam Stegman, extraordinary achievements had their beginnings in the most ordinary of circumstances. Peru, Indiana is famous for being the birthplace of Cole Porter. It was also the birthplace of another giant. Samuel J. Stegman was born on March 10, 1939. He was the second of three children from a traditional Midwestern family. The nation was still emerging from the Great Depression, and the Stegman family always shared what they had with folks less fortunate than themselves. Young Sam learned about giving. Every night, we had them at our back door, and they would eat and thank us and leave. A passion to work hard and excel came naturally to young Sam, who recognized his true calling at an early age. I think he was just born with it. He was always very determined, and he knew as a child, like at six, that he wanted to be a physician. We always talked about Sam being a doctor because he brought it up. He was going to be a doctor, and we'd say, yeah, Sam's going to be a doctor. The Stegman family owned and operated Peru, Indiana's leading haberdashery store. Sam always was like perfect. He, his clothes, his uh, demeanor, the way he carried himself and the way he spoke and everything was just perfect and that was Sam. And he expected perfection in others. He taught me how to drive. I thought we would never get out of the driveway because I didn't do anything correctly. So I kind of smiled or giggled or something. And he said, laugh all you want. We're not getting out of this driveway until you do it right. So he was always very serious, and, and things had to be done correctly. Sam excelled academically throughout high school. He was a gifted debater, winning a four-year debate team scholarship to Butler University. Sam and the Butler debate team won the national championship in 1959 and 1961. And, not surprisingly, he also excelled as a pre-med major. As a medical student at Indiana University, Sam graduated near the top of his class. As the Vietnam War raged and many avoided the draft, Sam completed his internship and joined the Navy as a lieutenant commander in Southeast Asia. In 1970, Sam Stegman began what would become an illustrious career in dermatologic surgery. Sam joined the faculty at the University of California, San Francisco upon completion of his residency. He also entered private practice with Dr. Theodore Tromovich. This dynamic duo became prolific collaborators and trailblazers in the field. Ted was constantly daydreaming up one crazy idea after another. And Sam had the ability to sort of sift through all that and say, this makes sense, and this is what we're going to run with. Sam made the most of his life in the city by the bay. He developed an active, richly satisfying life among his colleagues, friends, and family. He was a very good uncle to my daughters, and they respected him and admired him. Meanwhile, Dr. Stegman solidified his reputation as a leader in the growing field of dermatologic surgery. He's remembered, of course, for his work in peeling and dermabrasion and the beginning of 
soft tissue augmentation and fillers. We were among the original 13 clinical investigators that started uh, collagen. Well, I'm the neighbor to the collagen company up the road, and so that has helped Ted and Rick and I have the opportunity to be the first to try some of the things that our neighbors down the road manufactured. That really began a whole, a whole movement in dermatology, really. His work in the 80s, which compared the histologic depth of many different wounding agents and dermabrasion, led the way to a controlled scientific approach to chemical peeling. And we're going to use the Bell hand engine, which goes in two different directions, and I'll demonstrate that to you as we go. We owe Sam an enormous debt of gratitude for bringing flaps and grafts into dermatologic surgery. He made seminal contributions to Mohs micrographic surgery. The fresh tissue technique, I think, was unquestionably Sam's major contribution. So you got an explosion in Mohs surgery. Indeed, Dr. Samuel Stegman may be best remembered for the strength and inspiration he offered others as a lecturer and teacher in the rapidly growing field of dermatologic surgery. He could hit that podium and convince a room full of 500 people that they could go out and do the same thing. He set the bar and invited people to jump over the bar, and, and they did. And the media adored him. Hello, Dr. Stegman. Ladies' skin is thinner, and mm -hmm. so it, it pleats a little more easily than men's does. Sam brought the specialty the respect it deserved. And everybody knew what happened to Zyderm and the animals, but it didn't seem to behave that way clinically. Sam encouraged me never to be intimidated by plastic surgeons. He never was, and he said, none of us should be. We know more about the skin than anybody. He authored four landmark textbooks and published more than 100 scientific papers and served as president of both the ASDS and the Mohs College. As Sam approached the pinnacle of his profession and career, he faced a private tragedy shared by so many others in his city and across the nation. He wrote me a letter, something to the effect that I may not always be around or, or something of that nature, which I picked up on right away. Sam Stegman battled AIDS with the same spirit, dignity, and intensity he'd shown throughout his life. But these were still the early days in the battle, and Sam gradually, but courageously, succumbed to his illness. The last time I saw Sam, he'd actually become blind from his, from his disease. And it was the most emotional thing for me to see a man with such vision and a dermatologist who used his eyes who could no longer see. And I said, Sam, it's so good to see you. And he said, I wished I could see you. Just a month before his death, Dr. Sam Stegman received one of his profession's highest honors, the Leon Goldman Award from the American Society for Dermatologic Surgery. He traveled to Hawaii to get it, and I remember all of us supporting him physically and, and mentally, and he had to be physically uh, assisted to the podium, and he had lost his vision, and his mind was clouded. At that moment, everything came back to him, and he gave a terrific speech. Uh, there were tears in that room all around. Though he had lost his physical vision, he had that vision of positivity for the society. Samuel J. Stegman died on March 15, 1990, at the age of 51. His passing left a void in the lives, minds, and hearts of his colleagues, his family, and his friends. You have the nicest bunch of friends <laughs> you might could ever hope for. I'm not sure any of us have ever come back to quite the same level of productivity or creativity without him around. It's, it's like you had your arm taken off and then somebody said, well, pick up a pen and start writing. Yet, for everyone who knew Sam, in a very real way, he isn't gone. By deed, by memory, and by example, he remains part of every life he touched. I mean, he was made of leadership. This is a guy who could have been anything. Sam Stegman could have been a senator, and it's just fortunate for us that he became a dermatologic surgeon. We just can't let go 
because we're still drawing from that strength and he's still our mentor today. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't kind of think of Sam or um, kind of tear up when I remember some of the things we've done. And uh, some current event will happen in the world and I want to share that with him, but he's not there. <laughs> no man is truly great who is great only in his own lifetime. The true measure of greatness is recorded in the pages of history.